Good afternoon, Mike Mildner coming to you from the Ocala facility. Today we're going to look at another fantastic rescue, this one for our family members down in Pasco County. The goals of this truck was to adapt a little bit to their service. Uh, their old air truck was a walk around unit, this one being partially walk in. This allows them now to have service area to work on bottles, fit bottles, certify the BAs at both on the scene where they can take this truck to one of their stations and fit the guys all at that station and have them all set up for their uh, SCBA units. Let's get a look. You see your first compartment has all of your electrical controls, fuse box, awning control, as well as your light tower controls. A couple of adjustable shelves. And then we also have an equipment slide out. with a side board on it in the same compartment. We have a large slide master in the bottom and then a couple of adjustable shelves. You can see huge storage areas in this truck. Wheel well on the street side, you have a three compartment here as well as an open storage area for chocks or maybe a full air pack can fit in there as well. This is a compressor in a through compartment. These are interlocked where both side doors on both sides have to be open to run the compressor. We have three DOT bottles on this side, three on the other side for a six bottle cascade. Compressor in the middle, all of your purification equipment in the front. Rear compartment. On the street side, you have a bunch of SCBA tubes to store refilled bottles. Panel here there where you can look at the status of the compressor and also a master disconnect in case you run into an issue with it. We have a Wilbert light mast with the Syrian light heads on it, which is the absolute about top of the market for light distribution. The B1 on this apparatus is equipped with a big Bauer three bottle. One of the large fill stations. You have all of your cascade controls here as well as your, your fill station controls. We add an auxiliary fan up top to move a little bit of air for the guy operating back here and also a small 12 volt awning up at the top of the truck. Taking a look at the curb side of this truck, you can see they've utilized a 22 foot extruded aluminum body. We have some recessed electric awnings on both sides. These are 110 volt awnings. Looking at our rear curbside compartment, we have an auxiliary utility reel here with a control panel, adjustable shelf, as well as some slide out trays with some heavy duty slide master slides. Looking at the wheel well area of the truck, you have two three bottle storage bins, both forward and aft. We have a large uh, transfer switch. This has a 100 amp shoreline plug that you can actually run the compressor off of when it's parked in a stable. They will add a cord to uh, run that from the station. Adjustable shelf, partition to protect that, that uh, piece of equipment. And then of course you have another slide master down low. Your forward area here, this is actually part of your walk-in area of the truck. Uh, inside here you have a bench seat, so we did a low compartment just to utilize all of the space so they get a drop down with the chains. Moving along on the curb side forward, we have an entry door to your actual work. Walk-in space in this truck. The truck also has the ability for nighttime operations. You have the white and the red lights that you can select individually. Taking a look inside, this truck will double both as a workspace and as a rehab space for the air support. So we have a small fridge where they can keep some cold items in here for the crew while on scene. A microwave up top and then they're also adding this coffee pot here. You can see we have a two-man bench here where they will fit the crew for gear. You have some large overhead cabinets with down lighting. Your work surface in the front is amply supplied with USB and 110 volt. Uh, including in this is a HDMI hookup that will take a laptop and put it up to the monitor. The department will add a certification device for the BA devices that will probably mount over in this corner. They'll have a bottle vise to actually build and work on SCBA bottles. Of course, they have a big CTEC cabinet here in the, in the back area to keep all of the tools organized that they'll use on scene. The opposite side over here has a couple large overhead cabinets. And then of course underneath we have a radio that has Bluetooth capability with a microphone to hook to your phone while you're in here in case they need to take a phone call. 
Around on the walls, you can see they're all available surfaces are whiteboard over the work surface. For this unit to double as a rehab, we also have two roof units, which are Dometics. They are 15,500 BTU cool and 6,000 BTU heat each. We want to thank you all for visiting with us today on this fantastic air and light truck. As you can see, this is a very specialized truck, even as an air and light and light rehab unit. It is tailored and custom designed for the department's needs. Please get with your local Rev dealer and let's see what we can put together for your crew. Thank you and have a great day.